How to use and configure the metal sorting functionality of the Sigma Check. So I'll start off with a demonstration of what the metal sorting is. So if we go into the main reading screen, as you can see the top part of the screen is displaying metal sort. This is available simply by scrolling through the available screen configurations until we have metal sort. Metal sort, very simply, measures the conductivity of the material under test and using some predefined values decides on what the metal is. So for a demonstration we have our standard test blocks here by holding it on one of them. As you can see we have a brass, aluminium 1200, aluminium 2014, a copper and the final one, which is a titanium sample, is what we'll now go through and configure. So, if we go back to the menu screen, the right arrow to expand the menu, down to advanced, and then to metal sort. Tick. So here we have the various metals <coughs> uh, that were displayed previously. Beneath each is a range in uh, percentage I axis. Again, that can also be Mega Siemens, completely configurable in the units uh, menu, uh, explained elsewhere. So back to the menu, here you can see the top one, we have copper. And we have specified a range between 99 and 103.6% IAX. So whenever the Sigma check sees a conductivity within that range, the copper will be displayed on the screen. So a very simple but very useful functionality. As you can see, everything is uh, configurable. The aluminium, the lower range, the upper range, the second aluminium, lower, upper, brass. And we have 10 available in total. So I can continue to scroll down. Stainless steel, 2 to 3%. And now one that isn't used, uh, metal 6, which is just 0 to 0. So we'll now change this to uh, measure titanium. So tick to begin changing the text. So now just up and down, we'll scroll through the uh, letters of the alphabet in uh, uppercase and lowercase. So I'm just going up, scroll up a letter, T T I T A L. Again, just for time, we shall leave it just saying titan instead of titanium. We'll blank out the number. Okay, so we have the name. Okay, and for titanium, we will simply select a range of 0.5 IX to 1.5. So tick to accept. Tick to, oops, back. And back and back and back to the reading screen. So now, the block that before wasn't displaying anything at all displays Titan, which is the text we entered earlier. And the conductivity of about 1% IAX is within the range 0.5 to 1.5 that we previously specified. So again, very simple and quite self-explanatory. The only thing, a couple of things of note is, as before, the bottom half of the screen can be used to display the conductivity or any other value at the same time and also has an off. So again, the text for metal sorting doesn't increase in size, but what metal sorting can do is does allow overlap. So if we go back to the menu, again, signature check menu, advanced, metal sort, we have the ranges. Some of the ranges may overlap. That's completely permissible. If they do overlap and the probe is placed on a piece of metal, then every metal within that range will be displayed. So just to demonstrate this very crudely, if I lower copper, which is a completely fictitious value of 49, <clears throat> so now on aluminium 1200 should fit into both ranges, the aluminium range and the copper range. If I accept that, and back, 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 back to the reading screen, and I've placed my probe on there. It's displaying the fact that we could have copper and aluminium 1200.
And that concludes the metal sort.